Elisha is telling Gehazi so his servant to go and talk to this Shunammite woman to see what's going on so he was asking is everything is well is everything is going well so is all is well is your husband is well is your child is well so these are all the questions Elisha is telling to ask so we see that this woman's reply she's replying all is well meaning like everything is going well so she was telling two times all is well the first time she was telling to her husband when he was inquiring and questioning and the second time she was telling to Elisha that all is well and that is the faith that she's having and that is the boldness she's having an audacity to say while her son is dead but still she's really proclaiming that what she yet to see or what she want to see by believing in god trusting in faith and proclaiming the word of life and she's releasing life even in the death situation even today god wants you to release life you have to be a person who you know like speaks life and life in abundance because the life of christ is in you and so whenever you speak life you will see the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness in your life that really overflows and really brings a greater harvest for the glory of god your situations will change your environment will change there will be a shift in the situations and god is going to bring and realign the things that was really need to be reset god is a god who really brings everything back to life as needed for his glory elisha is also trusting god and having faith in god that god is going to raise him up so that's why he prayed he trusted god and he prayed unto god and we see here in verse um 35 that after he walked one more time back and forth in the house and then again he stretched himself upon the child and while he was doing that the child sneezed seven times and the child opened his eyes see everything is recorded so amazingly by the holy spirit that he he sneezed seven times and then he sat he he got up from the dead praise god god's power raised him up it is the power of god that really raised this child up and it is this amazing that today if you call upon him whatever the situation you are going through especially the dead situation not only the dead situation even real dead i'm talking about if this is true 10 miracles 10 times if the dead has been risen in this human history which is recorded in the bible and proved and verified if that is true it is true so how much more in your life god is going to do something amazing any situation you are going through even the death around you you can able to raise it up in jesus name elijah a common man like you and me he trusted god believed in god raised uh people from dead and today jesus died for you he ra- he was he himself was raised from dead because god raised him from dead and today the same spirit that raised because god said I, god spirit raised jesus from dead that same spirit is living instead of you and me so the thing is there was no promise that has been given to elisha that tells you can raise the dead but today you and i have the promise that says we will raise the dead we will heal the sick i speak any kind of cancer or any dangerous diseases to be completely be healed right now in Jesus name because Jesus has given the authority he has given the ability power and anointing his anointing breaks the yoke even right now i speak whatever the sickness you are going through i see even right now it just dissolves and completely you know like a, a be removed out of your body because your body is the temple of the holy spirit your body is not the place that holds the disease or sickness but god can change it if that is the case God is a good God. You will experience the goodness of God. Anything that you are going through in your life that bothers you even today, God is going to bring an end to it. He's really resetting. He's really refreshing. He's really bringing something new. He's really reviving things in you. in your life and also the things that you are going through god is going to settle the challenges and the, the things that is distressing you the things that is bothering you god is going to really put an end to it even right now god i pray in jesus name let there be supernatural miracle supernatural breakthrough let all kind of problems and challenges be completely be healed i speak all those piles or any kind of diseases in jesus name be completely healed even right now i speak the cancer being healed right now and i see completely be eradicated and i'm seeing god is doing something amazing in people's life rebuilding and i'm seeing the hair is really growing back and even in jesus name god is really restoring the eyesight and even god is going to 
to really restore the mute to speak and God is really really going to bring a ability and faith for you even to you know like a challenge even to challenge the situation and revert it back for his glory because God is on your side and the wind is on your side even the even the hurricanes and all kind of like disastrous things on your way God is going to turn it out to a gentle breeze by his power by his grace trust in the goodness of god israel israelites did only one main sin which is uh, they did not uh, trust in the goodness of god abraham believed abraham trusted in the goodness of god abraham did not do any works or action but rather he just trusted in the goodness of god today the good news is believe in the goodness of god you will see the goodness of god because uh, god is good and his love endures forever jesus loves you so much god is having a greater plans and purpose god bless you all you are uh, you are blessed to be a blessing amen and amen